what was going through your head before the, the snap was actually called on that punt, on that fake, fake punt? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we had it in our game plan all week. Uh, we knew it was something that we could we could do if we got in the right situation for, and you know that's just uh, us trusting our coaches to put us in the right situation to, to run those punt, fake punts like that. Uh, luckily, I was at the pre-classic the weekend before, so I, I learned a little bit how to run fast uh, from those guys. So <laughs> put that to work, and uh, a little bit of my old tight end days came into the picture. But uh, but yeah, it was cool. You know, it's, it's something that I never thought I would do, but uh, the circumstances were right, and so we, we went with it and you know, changed the game a little bit. So it was fun. Well, said we might have to get a package on offense for you. Is that in the future? Totally cool with it. Uh, <laughs> would never argue with that. Uh, I always say, like, I knew that like a week ago when, when they were talking about it, I knew, like, if, if, if I do get the ball in my hand, there's going to be people on the sideline who's, I didn't know you could run that fast. It, it was a weird phenomenon that happened in high school. Whenever I had the ball, I ran three times faster than I ever anyone ever saw me run. So uh, I'm, I'm glad that that kind of came out. And, uh, yeah, big men can run sometimes. <laughs> make, make an analogy case of that, like a long stick mini making a sub on offense. Is that what? what no, nah, that was more like a, a midfielder doing an alley dodge to the rock or to the cage. So <laughs> putting the rock in the cage. So yeah. What did you make of overall performance defensively, especially up front? You guys were able to get to Sanders quite often, and just the impact it had. Yeah, I think I think that was the one thing we knew going in this game was if uh, if we put pressure uh, on Sanders that he's gonna you know be a little um, he's gonna be moving around the pocket. We just got to be able to get him down on the ground. That's kind of what we did today. You know, we were able to execute it's something that we, we've been working on all summer, all year. Uh, we knew we had to get pr better pressure this season, and I think you're starting to see the hard work that we did this off season coming out into the game. Um, you know, that, uh, like I said earlier, it was just us executing the game plan. Uh, I'm really excited we were able to do that now. Knowing the level of quarterbacks you guys are going to face this season, after kind of the way things went today, does that give you any confidence kind of heading into the rest of the Pac-12 slate? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the, the thing this year is the Pac-12 is a quarterback conference right now. And, uh, you know, it's it's every game you're going to be facing a, a great quarterback, like you just said. So um, there's going to be different things about different quarterbacks that we have to uh, figure out and you have to play too. So, um, yeah, I mean, it gives definitely gives us confidence, you know, being that successful against a, a good quarterback like that. So, uh, you know, we're just one game at a time. We'll, we'll go check out uh, what Stanford has and we'll, 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 we'll execute on that one too. Dan, and Dan says he wants substance and not flash. Game. When you guys back that up with nearly a shutout and seven sacks defensively, just does it feel like to more or less back him up and what, what he's looking for? Yeah, I mean it's just that's just our standard, right? So that's something that we that's something that that Dan wa or Coach Landing wanted to be in our culture, and, and now you're starting to see it kind of coming out. Um, you know, before the game, we just knew we had one job, and we were just gonna go out there and do it no matter what happened. So um, it's just part of the culture now. It, you know, is, is going out there and, and having his back. Obviously, we're gonna trust him and everything he does. So um, excited we were able to perform at that level today and, and uh, show everyone what uh, what we can do. With the performance that you guys had, was there anything that you guys were able to you know do today that you sort of surprised yourself, or was this the outcome that you guys expected? This is just you know something that we've known we could do all, all along. Um, we, you know, we, like I said earlier, we worked really hard this offseason uh, on, on rushing the passer and, you know, pass rush stuff like that, and it's starting to come out now. Um, you know, we had, these past two games, you know, there wasn't a lot of, uh, a lot of running, you know, running plays that we've seen. So, you know, that's, we, we were able to kind of, you know, put the guys out there who, who are pass rushers and, and who could dominate those matchups. So uh, it's just, you know, again, like a testament to how our coaches are. They put us in the right situations to make us successful. and. Uh, you know, it worked out today. It worked out what great today. What is the key to, you know, getting after the quarterback as consistently as you guys did today? Yeah, I mean, it starts off with knowing your opponent, right? Knowing who you're going against and knowing uh, what they're good and bad at and, uh, you know, taking advantage of matchups. You know, obviously with guys like Birch and Dorless, you know, they're faster than some of some of us interior guys. So, you know, if they're going against a, a guard or a, a center, it's going to be a little bit of a matchup issue. And uh, we were able to do that today, and uh, it was really cool to see it come out and, and really, you know, show. When it comes to the play of the game, that's normally some like high-flying offensive play, and today it was just given to you guys for all of your sacks. Just, just how cool is something like that? It, it's, you know, that that was really cool. I mean, I, when. When the announcer said, you know, it was unique, I was actually, I thought I was about to get it for the fake punt, so I started standing <laughs> up, and then they said the whole defense, and it made me even more excited. So, uh, yeah, no, it's cool to see everything we're practicing coming out in yeah. the games, and, uh, you know, we just got to keep being consistent and keep doing it. So uh, it, it was really excited, exciting to, you know, get all the pressures and all the sacks today, but we, you know, it wouldn't be anything if we don't do it anymore. So we got to keep going and keep uh, keep climbing the hill. Brandon said that, uh 
Prime said that the offensive line was like the key or something like that, and, and that the defensive line took that personal. Did, did you know about that at all? Yeah, I mean, they, there was some stuff going on on, on social media. Um, I don't really know exactly what was said. Uh, you know, for a lot of us, every game is really personal. So, um, you know, it was, it was something that, you know, it was part of the game plan was getting after the quarterback. And we knew we had some matchups to be able to do that. So we just executed what our, what our goal was. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.